It's time to feel confident about our bodies. Let's go through the five different body types and how to dress them. Let's get right into the video. Hi everyone and welcome back to Struggle to Success. My name is Zodi and I am a personal stylist and style transformation coach from London. And this channel is all about transforming your life through style, building your self-confidence and maximizing your wardrobe. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the five different body types and how you should dress them. I have styled many women over the time of being a stylist, whether they're tall, whether they're short, whether they're athletic, whether they're curvy, there's so many different body types out there and everybody needs to know how to dress their body shape and feel confident in their bodies. My happiness is making you happy and helping you to feel confident in everything that you wear. It's so important that we know how to style our body types, but I know most of us out there just don't know where to start and don't know what body type we are. So the benefits of knowing your body shape is that it saves you so much time when shopping for clothes. You're not ending up going into the fitting room and having a big pile of clothes, trying everything on and then sending all of it back. We want to start getting you in the fitting rooms, trying on the clothes that fit you well and fit you properly and you feel confident wearing them and you're coming out with everything or leaving maybe two things. That is where I want it, this to go. I want this video to help you get to that point of finding clothes in the stores, trying them on, feeling confident wearing them, knowing that they fit your body shape and leaving with the stuff that you brought in. Also the benefits of knowing your body shape is that you feel confident in your own skin. Many of us talk negative about ourselves and that is not healthy. We have to start being positive about ourselves, speaking positive about ourselves. You need to stand in front of a mirror, be in your underwear and look at your body. Look at everything that you have, look at your arms, look at your tummy, look at your face, look at your features, and really be positive about what you are saying. If what you are saying is always negativity stuff, then that is not healthy for you. And you don't wanna be having that around your children because they're gonna to listen to that and they're gonna think it's okay to speak to yourself negatively. And that is not healthy for them either. So we need to start speaking positive about ourselves, speaking positive about our bodies. I want you to do this for me. I want you to, if you have a mirror, a full length mirror, stand in front of the mirror in your underwear. And I want you to start by saying, I love my whatever it is because, finish that sentence. And just say that every time you wake up in the morning, you get out of bed, you finish having your shower, looking, look at, looking at yourself in the mirror, and speaking positive words really changes your mindset and really it changes the way you see yourself and the way other people see you as well i mean god made you this way this is how god made you we do go through stages where we have children we go from through menopause we gain weight we lose weight it's life it happens we can't control what happens to our bodies it's natural so love your bodies and try this task and let me know how you get on because I really would like to support you guys on this. If you need any more support, don't forget to put a comment in the comments box below and I can help you on that. Or either check my Instagram, struggle to success stylist and you can DM me there and you can we can have a chat about body positivity and all things about that. Also the benefits of knowing your body shape is that you have no more returning to do. No more refunds, no more returning things, no more shopping online and returning things. It's gonna be so much easier because you know what to look for, what shape to look for, what fabric to look for. You know exactly what you're looking for and you know that, yes, this is gonna work for my style, this is gonna work for my body, I'm gonna feel confident wearing it and this is gonna be the healthy benefit for me. And once you figure out what body shape you are, you would know what to grab in stores and what to ditch in stores. This is gonna help you 
forever in the long run. So let's go through the five different body types. So most women fall into five different categories. We've got the pear shape, we've got the apple shape, we've got the inverted triangle shape, we've got the rectangle shape, and we've got the hourglass shape. So let's start with the pear shape. Is your top half narrower than your bottom half? Do you have wider hips? Do you often wear baggy clothes to feel comfortable in your body? We need to stop this. We need to stop wearing baggy clothes. We need to start finding pieces that enhances our features and makes us feel confident. How to dress a pear shape? If you want to keep the darkest colors at the bottom, you want to add volume to your shoulders to balance out with your hips maybe prints up here on the top, adding shoulder pads, adding a bit of detail on the shoulders, having a fitted shirt that kind of goes in and out. If you want a tailored shirt, wearing wrap dresses, wearing skater dresses that just flows over the hips, wearing trousers that are wide leg, wearing straight leg trousers, wearing boot cut trousers, wearing high waist trousers. So there's so many things you can think of buying and you can think of wearing like cap sleeve tops, Think of wearing pieces that fit the body. If you do have a slight tummy, go for something that has a really high waistline just under the bust and just flows over the tummy, but not too flowy because you want to be showing your figure because you're a pear shape. You want to look for wrap dresses that has maybe ruching detail that goes to the side so it draws the attention to your small waist. Look for v-necks, look for scoop necks. Look for collar um, shirts. You need to look for pieces that really bring your neckline down and doesn't focus on your bottom half. Go for skinny jeans, you can go for bootleg, you can go for flare jeans. You want to really keep everything below in solid, solid colors and really uplift everything at the top. So you wanna have prints, bold colors, detailing, embellishment, ruffles, um, pleats. So you wanna have things at the top that really brings out the volume. So let's move on to an apple shape. So do you carry the weight mostly around your tummy area? Do you often feel that you need to wear loose clothes to not draw the attention away from your tummy area? Do you have bigger busts? If you don't have bigger busts, do you have an average size bust as well? Do you have broad shoulders? This is an apple shape. An apple shape is someone who just has, just carries the weight around the tummy area. They have great legs, they have great thighs, but what they need to do is feel confident about their tummy area. This is the main point we need to focus on. So think about buying pieces that really brings in the smallest part of your waist. Again, you can go for wrap dresses, you can go for dresses that has ruching detail to the side. You can go for a high waistline, high emphasized um, waistline tops that just flows over your tummy area. Go for wrap tops, you can go for v-neck, you can go for scoop neck. You can go for dresses that are tunics, go for flow fabrics, go for thick straps, go for high rise or mid rise jeans, go for boot cut, go for flare, go for wide leg. You want to keep your body in proportion. If you're going to go for a bodycon style dress, make sure it's fitted and it has like a wrap detail or a detail that just draws the attention to the smallest part of your waist. This is what you want to focus on. You want to also go for things that fit the body, but it's skims over the waist. So let's talk about the rectangle shape. So do you have an athletic boyish body shape are you just straight up and down so if you are you need to be able to create curves this is what we want to do we need to be able to create curves so think about adding volume to the top half think about adding volume to your hips 
and bringing in your waist. We need to create that curved figure when it comes to a rectangle shape. So think about wearing things that is like a skater skirt, A-line skirt, a really structured skirt, items that has pockets on the hips, items that has a belted waistline, items that is really got a v-neck, you've got something that has a cap sleeve, peplin tops, ruffle shoulder tops, think of halter neck tops for the summer, think of shirts like v-neck button down tops but maybe form fitting, think of jackets that's just single breasted, think of jackets that's more structured, think of a pea coat, think of a parka because they have that belted waistline or like drawstring in the middle, think about things that really just emphasizes your waist and it curves right down. Think about pieces as well that has cut out details just around the tummy area. Think about, de think about details that has the illusion of a curvy figure. So if you have heavy black going on the outside and the inside is like purple. So the attention draws to the purple and it creates a smaller waistline. Think about dresses that have two different prints. So if you have maybe stripe, and floral on one side and it's a wrap dress think about prints that is mixed and matched together and that can add volume to your top half and to your bottom half think about dresses that has fitted on the top half and it has volume all on the bottom half so this is something you really need to look for let's talk about the inverted triangle shape So do you have a broad chest, wide shoulders that is definitely not in proportion to your bottom half? Do you have narrow hips? So when styling an vertical triangle shape, you really need to focus on adding volume to your bottom half rather than your top half. You need to think about skirts that has ruffle detail around the hip area. Peplin skirts is really good for an inverted triangle shape. You want to create an, an illusion of a waistline. So think about adding belts around your waist. Think about adding wide leg trousers. Think about wearing flare trousers, wrap dresses. Wide collars adds volume, but it keeps it slim line. Think about not having much structured pieces. Anything that kind of flows or has like a drop um, sleeve is really good for an inverted triangle shape. Think about adding pocket details on the bottom half. Think about adding a single breast jacket. Think about adding skinny jeans. Think about adding wide leg trousers. Think about adding shorts that has pockets on the side that has a paper bag top half where it has a belt so you really draw the attention to the waist. Think about A-line skirts, think about pleated skirts, think about tucking things in as well so it draws the attention to your waistline. This is something that is really important. Avoid items that is going to add detail to your shoulders because your shoulders are already wider than your hips and you don't want to make it even more wider, you want to keep it balanced. So think about not adding ruffles to your shoulders, think about not adding cap sleeves, think about not adding puff sleeves, think about keeping it very subtle at the top and keep it detailed and everything detailed at the bottom, everything detailed from the waist down. If you want to go for wearing something with stripes, think about having the stripes going downwards, if, if, especially in your top half, think about wearing stripes that goes downwards rather than going across. And last but not least, we're going to talk about the hourglass shape. So styling an hourglass shape, you want to make sure that you are dressing your proportions because your shoulders and your hips are in proportion. So literally you can wear things that really define your waist. You can wear skinny jeans, you can wear wrap dresses, you can wear fitted clothes, you can wear pieces that fit your hips correctly. If you're not too confident about your hips, Think about going for wide leg trousers. Think about going for jackets that just sit on your hip area. So it's not focused to your hips and it's more, it's like a, think of a jacket has a single breasted, but it's structured at the top where it's got shoulder pads and it goes right in. So it's pretty tailored and then it comes out and just sits over your hips. This is something that is very flattering for an hourglass shape as well as a pear shape as well. So think about looking for things that is more structured and more form fitting to the body. 
So think about wrap tops, think about pencil skirts, think about flare trousers, think about wide leg trousers, think about bootleg, think about straight leg, think about skinny jeans, think about tops that add volume to your shoulders and to your bust. You really wanna stay away from boxy styles. You wanna be showing off your figure. So that is all the five different body types. Please let me know in the comments box below which one you think resonates with you more. If you really want to understand what body shape that you are, all you have to do is stand in front of a mirror, wear fitted clothing, preferably all black, so you can see your body properly, and look at your body in proportion. So look, stand straight, look at your body in proportion, think, is my shoulders balanced to my hips? Do I have a waistline? Do I have bigger bust? Is my hips bigger than my shoulders? Once you identify what where your proportions are, then this would help you understand which five of these body types that you are. Please let me know if you did like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put your post notifications on to let you know when a new video is coming out because I'll be doing some more videos like this pretty, pretty soon. I did do one of these videos maybe a few years ago or more when I started out on my YouTube channel. I wanted to give it an update and give you an updated version of what body type you are and give you a bit more detail of how to dress your body type because we really need to focus on feeling confident in our bodies and loving our bodies how it is right now. Please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at struggle to success stylist and this is where you see more content of mine and I'll be posting daily and I'll be doing more videos very soon so stay tuned and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys pretty soon. Bye!